introducing the commissioner of the NWWQA, Roy Monson. Really hope uh, this thing got my hair. Looks really good. <clears throat> All right, so thanks everyone for uh, for listening in for a uh, big announcement. Uh, I would like to announce that the scheduled date for our tournament is May twenty first, two thousand sixteen, at eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time, May twenty first. Don't be late. That's not a good look at all. Um, uh, I bet you guys are wondering why these two are sitting next to me. Um, there's an ongoing investigation on the 89ers um, about the uh, seeding of last year's tournament, and um, I would like to open up questions to the media and address that matter. Uh, green shirt. Some people have speculated there has been foul play involved with the 89ers seeding, considering they are on the committee and their poor past performances. Do you care to elaborate? Yeah, I mean, the NWWQA, um, we actually encourage corruption. Um, we're a corrupt organization, and we always will be. Um, there's no plans to change that. Um, as for the 89ers, I think their seeding could go either way. Uh, to my left here is... I mean, he won the Lady Bing Award five times. I mean, if anyone wants to say sportsmanship doesn't isn't a factor, it's crazy. Um, you got to be mental to think that doesn't account in the Quay tournament and have something to do with their seating. Um, and the guy to my right here, I mean, he's an inconsistent player, but sometimes he's good. So um, again, we support corruption, and that's all I'm going to say on that. I get a, just a follow up on that. Um, the the word corruption has been tossed around quite a bit. Do you think any of the tournament losses are are a direct result of gambling? <clears throat> you know, I'm glad you asked that. Yeah, um, very well could be. Um, and honestly, uh, again, we we stand behind the uh, the gambling scandal. Um, we fully encourage gambling um, and. Uh, I'll stand by my guys that, that do gamble. Um, Pete, guys like Pete Rose are, are definitely allowed in the, the NWWQA. Um, we, love, we love gambling scandals. And if you want to throw a game um, because of a bet, it's completely fine um, and, and legal. So um, let me go to the blue shirt now. <clears throat> Questions for Roy. Uh, thoughts on your second place finish in 2015? No comment. I heard you went to a deep depression and haven't been able to toss quite since. Is that true? No comment. How was the knee holding up in the 2015 season? That's a good question. <clears throat> Next question. This will be my last question. Is there any ongoing tension between the skunks at the 2015 campaign? <clears throat> there would be no further comment on that matter. <clears throat> Green shirt. Um, is, are there any new features being added to the tournament this year? Yeah, um, we actually are going to have a, uh, 18 team league instead of 15. Um, gives you an extra, uh, game in there in the regular season. Um, so, gives us, us, us big guys, top guns, a little, uh, chance to pack the stats and, uh, you know, I think that would be good for our, the middle uh, the middle teams that are right there on the bubble uh, to really get the true teams that uh, should be making the playoffs every year. Um, also, we are going to be having a, a pro shop, um, and we'd be selling apparel, NWWQA apparel. I mean, who wouldn't want that? So I think that was a pretty obvious decision that we had to make um, if we're going to be the fifth major sport out there. Um, Obviously, you need apparel, um, and we're going to be the fifth major sport. It's simple. Uh, with the uh, athleticism that some of these people have, uh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it really does take a lot of skill and a lot of drinking. Um, 
So I think I think that's that'll be big for us, a big step in the right direction. Blue shirt. Uh, yeah, you mentioned expansion. Uh, what kind of talent is out there that allows you to do such a move? Um, you know, there's some talent out there, but we're really trying to bring in some some new new experience. Uh, we got the uh, the head of scouting and player development, you know, uh, out there looking at some uh, some party scenes and and looking at some um, you know potential good players. Um, then I just want to give a shout out to Ed Kozlowski, uh, head of scouting and player development. Uh, we appreciate everything he does for us, and uh, you know, it's 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 good to get the bottom teams in there, uh, get spank them around a little bit, um, you know, get a couple blowout wins for the for us, and uh, you know, every team needs a every uh, tournament needs a bottom feeder. We really do. Um, I love the bottom feeders. I love to just rub it in their face and absolutely demolish them. It's it's awesome. Yep. Uh, is that a confidence booster, or does that make you play much better? Yeah, confidence, confidence, and ego. Um, you know, get some confidence and ego going, rolling right into the playoffs. You know, so we can steamroll a couple teams. Um, you know, a lot of us top guns. Uh, we really, we really need those bottom feeders just for a little pickup uh, in the regular season. Yep. Question for Dizon. Mm -hmm. um, regarding your diet, mm -hmm. uh, how is it? Uh, it's quite season now. I've been bulking up. Got a question for uh, Miles Plant. Uh, do you care to talk about the ongoing betting scandal between you and Bob DiCrescenzo from the unrival Alcoholics team? Just yeah, so I don't get fined. All right. Well, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for our uh, announcement. I will uh, see everyone May 21st. And... Um, like Desaw had said, bulk up. It's quiet season. Time to really buckle down, get the uh, get the alcohol tolerance up. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one this year. Um, and hopefully, uh, Lord Nighty's Rubber Donut will um, come back home. Thanks a lot, everyone. Mm, nailed it.